This does feel a little bit like here we go again, doesn't it? We've seen in the space of three days last week, three flights cancelled with three different problems. Two of them related to the, uh, uh, the plane's engines, one, of it, one to its de-icing system. And this is what we saw you know, before the plane was grounded back in January, that there were daily problems going on. But the, the most important factor here is that none of these problems is related to the plane's battery system. Uh, and so the airline and Boeing say these are glitches. They are things that have to be looked at, but they are to be expected in the early, uh, the early part of operating a new, very uh, high-tech aircraft. And so they are, are not nothing particularly to be worried about. And indeed, that the media wouldn't be making such a big deal of it if it wasn't for the for the three-month grounding uh, that took place uh, and the problems with the battery. Now let's take a look at that three month grounding because what does this mean for Boeing and the Dreamliner? J the Japan's Transport Safety Board says it isn't investigating this, uh, this week's problems, but do you think there might be more stringent tests to come? Everybody is going to keep a very, very close eye on the electrical system of that plane in the coming months to see that those batteries the new batteries that have been put in the plane, the new design, is operating pr uh, properly. And any further problems with that battery system would be a real blow to Boeing. Uh, but the company itself, tomorrow at the Paris Air Show, is going to announce a new version of the 787. They're believed to have 100 orders for that plane already. They're working on 850 orders backlog for the current plane. So from Boeing's point of view, as long as this battery fix has worked, the plane's are coming off the production line. The airlines desperately want to get their hands on this plane. So, uh, you know, it's back to business as normal as far as they're concerned.